Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 190, and we're going to be covering the auto-assign role module. But before we get started, I am Shane Thomas. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure to head on over to codekarate.com, check out the ebook and all the other useful Drupal information. So let's go ahead and get started. The auto-assign role module. It's a really simple module, but it does some pretty powerful things. It allows you to really control how users get roles on your Drupal site. So there are options to allow you to auto-assign a role anytime a user lo- or signs up for your site, but you can also set it so the user can select their own role. And this is very powerful if you're building out uh, a site where depending on what kind of user you want to have or what types of users you have coming to your site, you may want to give them different permissions. For instance, if you were building an education site, you might want a teacher and a student role, and the user would select that when they sign up. In this case, we'll go through one example with a reviewer or a manager role, just as a simple example since I already have those roles on this test site. So make sure to go over to your test site and turn on the auto sign role module once that is installed we are going to go ahead and go to the configuration page and there are three options here and we'll go through each of these the first one is automatic so if we click on that you can see we can enable automatic role assignment which essentially means If any user creates a new account on your site, they will be automatically given whatever roles you check down here. Otherwise, you can also turn on automatic role assignment for admin created accounts. And this means any role that you would create as an admin would get, or any user, excuse me, would get the role that you select down here. So if you want to make sure that either all admin accounts or all user created accounts end up getting a specific role, this module can be used to do that. I'm not going to go through a demo on that because it's pretty straightforward. The per role pages, we'll go through that one last and we'll start or we'll go second with the user choice. This one's pretty cool because you can actually allow the user to select their role on the user registration form. So the first thing we have to do is enable it. So we change this to enabled and then we select the roles that they should be able to select from. We don't want to allow them to become an administrator, of course, but we will allow them to select either a manager or a reviewer role. And this will just show any roles that you have on your site. So if you need to uh, change your roles, you can always go to uh, people, permissions, and then roles. You can select if they should be able to select one or more than one role when signing up. We'll just keep it with one. And then if you want radio buttons or select box, if you want it to be required, I'll go ahead and say yes. How do you want to sort it? What kind of description? And what title do you want to show up? Let's go ahead and hit save. And I will open up a new window here. And we will go to the site and click on the create new account button. You'll now see there's a role selection here where I can select either manager or reviewer. You can see the description shows up there, the field set title and the actual field title. I'll go ahead and sign up for one here. and I will select to be a manager and click create new account. Now I don't have the ability for users to be able to create and sign into their own accounts. It's still set up to require admin approval but this works regardless of how you have that set up on your Drupal site. So if I come back here and go to the people page you'll see there's a test role user I just created. It is blocked because I have to manually approve them but it does have the role of manager. So that's an easy way to allow on your user registration form a user to just select the role they want. The other option 
is to configure per role pages. And this basically means you can create different paths or different signup forms. And depending on the signup form that they go to is the roles or the role that they will receive. So we're going to create one for the manager role. And we give it a title, we give it a path. So we're going to give it manager dash sign up. You can add it to a menu if you want, if you want it to actually display in a menu item. And you can select the display type. If you select standard, it will show the normal user registration, user login, request new password, Drupal tabs. If you show individual, it will not show those tabs. I'll leave this one at standard and I'll change the other one to individual so we can see what the difference is there. So here's the manager sign up. So let's also add a reviewer sign up page. So we give it a title and a path. We're going to select individual this time and go ahead and click add. Now if we come back to the site, you'll notice we still have this option so we could turn that off if we wanted to. But if I go to manager dash sign up, you can see it's the manager sign up title, which means if I sign up for this form, I'm going to become a manager and receive the manager role. And also notice how the tabs are showing up here. If I go to reviewer dash sign up, there are no tabs. There we go. So I just created a quick reviewer account on that reviewer sign up page so we can ensure that I would get the reviewer role. So if we come back to the people page and refresh, you'll notice here's my username, here's the role I would have received, and there you go. That's the auto assign role module. So as you can see, it allows a lot of flexibility with controlling how roles are assigned throughout your Drupal site. So this is incredibly useful if you're building out, as I mentioned before, some kind of social network site or education site where there are different roles and different permissions need to be applied to those different users. So go ahead and give that one a try. Make sure to check out CodeKarate.com and let us know if you want anything that we don't already have up there. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.